former homosexual. Jesus Christ can make you a former sodomite, a former thief, a former liar, former greedy person. He can make you a former fornicator. See, fornication is anyone who is practicing any sexual conduct outside of the bonds of marriage. One man and one woman together in marriage forever until they die to raise up godly children is what God wants for you. Anything other than that, if you choose to have sex outside of marriage, if you choose to have homosex, any sexual conduct, you're deemed a fornicator. And fornicators will not enter the kingdom of God. If you smoke, if you smoke the marijuana, you too are not deemed to enter the kingdom of God. You see, the Bible says Jesus was bruised for our transgression. He was wounded for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon Him, and by His stripes you can be healed. You see, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to His own way. We've all sinned against God, but God showed His love, love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. So you could stop being a fornicator, stop being a sexually immoral person, stop being a homosexual, stop being a liar, a lesbian. You turn from your wickedness and start to live a righteous, godly life in Jesus Christ. Here it is. Only through Jesus Christ do we have salvation. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Can I see your name? Don't interrupt David. a pre David. Well, I'm happy to tell you that I'll make a contribution to Planned Parenthood on your name today. Okay. And what's that? So the Abortion? Women, the women could uh, kill innocent babies in the room. Long live Planned Parenthood. Oh, man. Follow Jesus. He came up to me and said, What is your name? I told him my name, and he said that he was gonna, he's going to make a contribution to Planned Parenthood in my name. Oh, the wickedness of this generation, thinking that women. <laughs> It's fine for women to kill innocent babies in their womb, which is supposed to be the safest place for a child. But you wicked women choose to kill them. Kill babies in their womb, in your womb. And not only that, you approve of that ungodly, wicked behavior. You approve of murder. You see, if someone were to kill a pregnant woman on the street or anywhere else, he would get charged with double homicide. But when a mother chooses, a wicked mother chooses to kill her child in her womb by paying for it, it's all fine. You see, the Bible says, woe unto them, woe unto the generation Cursed be the generation that takes light for darkness and darkness for light. When people start to say that good is evil and evil is good, follow the Jesus. Bible says, he died for Woe you. To such people, cursing to such people. When people think being a fornicator, having sex outside of marriage is okay. Woe to you! When people think lying is okay, I'll tell you what God says about liars. Lying lips are an abomination to God. <coughs> Homosexuals are an abomination to God because they pervert nature. They pervert 
how they are supposed to be, how God made them. And instead they say, I was born this way. I was born a homosexual. I'll tell you false. God never created a man to have feelings and lust and have sex with the same gender, with a man or a woman with a woman. Oh, and God never planned for people to have sex outside of marriage or to lie or to be greedy, live selfishly. He commands to love your neighbor as yourself. But first, you have to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. With everything you are, you have to love God. And if you love God or love Jesus Christ, you will keep His commandments. You will keep His word. You will not <coughs> sin. Sin grieves the Holy Spirit. Sin grieves God. And if you profess to love God or think to yourself, when I die, I'm going to go to heaven, you're deceiving yourself if you're sinning daily in thought, word, and deed. Because the Bible says, <coughs> sinners, the unrighteous, will not have their part in the kingdom of God. But I'm telling you, through Jesus Christ, you could be a former sinner. You don't have to continue grieving God. You don't have to continue sinning and go to hell. But you could be redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. <coughs> Jesus Christ is the light of the world. You see? And whoever comes to Him will have life and life abundantly. But whoever doesn't come to Him will be condemned. They do not have life abiding in them. But they are dead men walking. If you love your sin, if you're living in sin, then you're just a dead person walking. Because the wages of sin is death. But you can turn while you still have air to breathe, while you're still alive. You can turn from your sin and live for God. You could live a Follow God Jesus. centered life, not a self centered life. Follow not Jesus. Not living for yourself. But Jesus Christ, He died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, <laughs> but for Him who died for them and rose again the third day. Have you not heard that Jesus Christ is alive? He rose again from the dead. You'll be judged by His Word. God commands all men everywhere to repent because He has appointed a day on which He will judge the world in righteousness. Are you ready to be judged in righteousness? Are you ready to be judged by the perfect God, by the holy one and only living God, by the just God who will judge you according to His law? You see, and we've all broken His law. We've all broken the law of God that's written on our hearts. We've all lied before. We may have all gotten drunk before. We may have all had sex outside of marriage before or watched pornography before you see but you can be set free from death through Jesus Christ this is why Jesus came to die for the sins of the world that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life See, but whoever does believe in Him is not condemned. 
But whoever does not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And Jesus said that this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than light.